alpha and beta are roots of the quadratic equation ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0. Therefore, the sum of the roots alpha plus beta is equal to minus b upon a and the product of the roots alpha beta is equal to c upon a. Now note that alpha minus beta whole square is equal to alpha plus beta whole square minus 4 alpha beta. Putting in the value of alpha plus beta and alpha beta, this becomes minus b upon a whole square minus 4c upon a, which is equal to b square minus 4ac upon a square. Therefore, alpha minus beta whole square is equal to b square minus 4ac upon a square. Let's call this result 1. Similarly, alpha plus delta and beta plus delta are the roots of the quadratic equation capital A x square plus capital B x plus capital C is equal to 0. Therefore, the sum of the roots alpha plus delta plus beta plus delta is equal to minus of capital B upon capital A and the product of the roots alpha plus delta times beta plus delta is equal to capital C upon capital A. Now note that alpha plus delta minus in brackets beta plus delta whole square is equal to alpha plus delta plus beta plus delta whole square minus 4 times alpha plus delta times beta plus delta. Note that the left hand side simplifies to alpha minus beta whole square. And on the right hand side, substituting the values obtained earlier, we get minus capital B upon capital A whole square minus 4 times capital C upon capital A. And the right hand side is equal to capital B square minus 4 times capital A times capital C divided by capital A square. Now we know from result 1 derived earlier that alpha minus beta whole square is equal to b square minus 4ac upon a square. It therefore follows that alpha minus beta whole square is equal to b square minus 4ac upon a square which is equal to capital B square minus 4 times capital A times capital C upon capital A square. And this is the required result.